Hey Gold Medal family, Master John Vasquez kicking it here for you today. And today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, food and eating to fuel your body so you can continuously keep uh, having your daily workouts and performing at your best level every single day so you feel good about it and you're actually getting a big benefit from it. So if this is your first time visiting our channel, we want to thank you for stopping by. We'd love to see you back. Please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification that'll let you know when we kick another video out to the tube. Okay, so let's get right into it. The biggest thing I wanted to go over really quick here was I sent a video out a few weeks back here talking about one thing that I cut out of my consuming diet, eating, meal plan, whatever you want to call it. And I immediately, immediately noticed a positive uh, benefit from cutting it out. And I'm going to give it to you guys right now. I'm not going to make you wait for the whole video and then, and then have it here at the end, right? So here is the big thing that I cut out of my daily consumption. Almost, almost a hundred percent. Ready? Here it is. Sugar, right? Mind blowing, right? Cutting out that sugar. Um, but I'm actually going to talk about something a little bit more specific and we'll come back to the sugar here in a second. But more specifically, one thing that I did cut out here is pop, soda. I had a, I noticed uh, when I first started running, I wasn't drinking much soda, uh, drinking much pop at the time. And for whatever reason, when I had the video come out where I noticed like, hey man, I, I'm, I need to cut something out. I had a few days where I was running and, and my runs were really struggling. I was running slow and I just didn't feel like I was performing at my best. And I was thinking back and trying to figure out, okay, was, how was I sleeping? I was getting enough sleep. How was my drinking of my water? That was fine. But was I overeating on my carbs or overeating on my protein or fat or anything like that? Was I just overeating in general, too much meals, you know? And everything seemed pretty, pretty much the same. And I'll get more into depth on that in a second. But one thing I did notice I had done differently that week was I was drinking a lot more pop than usual, a lot more soda. Now, these are my drinks of choice here. I usually like 7-Up, Squirt, or Sprite. And most of the time I just buy these individual um, servings like this. Every now and then, uh, maybe a two liter. And really, I'm the only one that drinks these here in the house. I used to drink uh, Pepsi. I don't, I just don't, I don't like the dark sodas anymore. They, for me, they give me a, a film I can fill all in my mouth and my tongue, my teeth. It dries my mouth out a whole lot. And that is that sugar that is inside of it. I should have brought one of those bottles over here too. But look at this here on the squirt. One serving size is one bottle. You got 63 grams of sugar in this bottle here, and it's 240 calories. One bottle there. Seven up. 63 grams of sugar, 240 calories. This one is 64 grams of carbohydrates. Let me see what this one was. Same thing, 64 grams of carbohydrate. Um, this one had a little bit more sodium in it. It's got 80 milligrams of sodium, and this one has 65. So you, they're relatively the same. And I think Sprite here was the least amount, 200 calories, 54 grams of sugars, uh, 54 grams of carbs, but 110 milligrams of sodium. So you can see in consuming this on a regular basis, daily basis, all that mud and dirt there is just gonna weigh you down. So for those of you guys, that are avid soda drinkers. And I'm not even bringing Mountain Dew into this mix here. Um, but I know people that are just, they're extremely hooked on Coke, Coca-Cola, <laughs> and, um, and Mountain Dew, and they drink tons of it, gallons of it. And I mean gallons, not, you know, cause they'll fill up big giant cups and they'll sip on that all day long. They do that every day. You don't realize what this is doing to your body until you start becoming real active. But what it's gonna do, it's gonna put you in a dormant state. You feel sluggish, you're tired, 
even when you do activity and start getting active, you're gonna get really tired really quick. But on top of that, your, your body's just not gonna burn calories the way it should, and you're gonna be extremely sore. Uh, the sugar has a huge defecting, um, or I should say de-benefiting effects to it. So that might be one thing you really wanna to try to cut out. Uh, you know what, I'm not a soda drinker, so I'm, I'm pretty good on that. Okay, so let's talk into the next phase of sugar, which is why I have this one here. Here's the next sugary um, choice or um, beverage of consumption of choice for a lot of people. And that is coffee with lots and lots of sugar and cream to it. So many calories. Um, and almost, you, I know people that would probably put just about as many grams of sugar in their coffee as are, is already in this here. Okay, now I'm not saying this is bad, right? Sugar, sugar is good. I've often wondered, what is it that they put in sugar that makes it taste so good, right? And if it's bad for you, then why did God make it taste so good, right? <laughs> so sugar is not bad for you. An overabundance of sugar is what you wanna avoid. That's where your body's gonna start having defects um, instead of a benefit to it. So watch that sugar consumption there. Maybe, maybe limit, try some black coffee every now and then. For those of you guys that are like, I like my coffee to be very white and vanilla looking, <laughs> try a little bit of backing that off a little bit and get the real flavor of actual coffee. You'd be surprised. You may not, you may not um, totally hate it and come to learn to appreciate it and like it. And for those of you guys that are soda drinkers and um, you drink a lot of it, let's try cutting back on that. Try weaning that off there. Okay, so that's the big thing that you want to cut out of your diet and your plan, meeting, uh, meal eating plan there. So now let's talk about actually what should you consume? What do you eat? 